Hi kids. Well, it's really good to be with you. I've been missing you because I've been in Florida for a few months, but we've been enjoying seeing the children's messages and the worship services on YouTube, and so we felt like we've been really part of the Calvary family, but it's really good to be back. But I have something I want to talk to you about today. Who here likes getting gifts? And if you do like getting gifts, have you ever loved the gift so much that you actually cried? Well, that happens to Mrs. Barnes fairly often. When she receives gifts from her girl sometimes, it just makes her cry. And recently for Christmas, my daughter made her a gift that she went to the end of our street and took a picture of the church where my wife grew up from the time she was a little girl until she went to college. And she made then pieces of wood and she painted them to look like the church and put it in a frame. And my wife opened up her gift on Christmas Day. What do you think happened? Yes, she cried like a baby. Now, why do you think she cried? Well, she certainly wasn't unhappy because I told you she loved, she loved the gifts and she cries when she loves something sometimes. But did I hear somebody say, because she was getting old and remembering things? Who said that? Go ahead, don't be afraid, put your hand up. Oh, you're, you're too afraid to put your hand up, huh? Well, that's partly true, but let's try to make it a little bit more delicate than that because she'll be watching this. She did see it and she started to cry because it did bring back memories of things that she did when she was young at that church. She loved going to that church because it had a lot of good memories and it had some sad memories too. She loved playing on the street where she grew up, going to church, fellowshipping and meeting her friends. We got married in the church. I think that was a happy event. Her mom had her funeral service there. That was kind of sad. Her grandparents were buried in the cemetery behind the church as are her parents and some other family members. So it, it had a lot of memories for her. But was it the building itself that was so special? No, it wasn't the building. Actually, the building's kind of a tiny little church. It probably can only hold about 60 people. There was one room and there wasn't even a bathroom. Can you imagine that? So when your parents said, if you went to that church, they said, come on, get ready for church. They meant get ready for church. We're blessed at Calvary to have a beautiful building. We have plenty of bathrooms, nice bathrooms, a large worship, worship area, play areas, Sunday school rooms. But you know what? That doesn't make our church special. What makes our church special is that we're a family of God. We're a community of Christians that get together and we love worshiping together and being together. They call that having fellowship. And we've missed that a lot this year because of, you know, the virus that you hear about. That makes us kind of sad that we don't get together as much as we would like. But don't feel like you're missing out. We have technology that's allowing us to see each other on Sunday and hear the messages and hear the children's sermon and hear the worship songs. But we are missing out on some fellowship. So I'd like you to remember though, that because we're a family, that God is in control of everything. God is sovereign. And that means he's in complete control and rules over everything. So even though this is a time of sadness to some degree, sometimes we've been able to have a lot of fun by visiting each other with phone calls, with videos, and we're just doing things differently. So I think when you look back, when you're older, if you'd happen to see a picture of our church, I think you may have some fond memories or maybe even some sad memories and it might even make you be a little tearful like Mrs. Barnes. 
because you're going to remember that you learned about Jesus here and that you learned that God loved you so much that he sent Jesus to die for you and that he said he'll never forsake us. That means he will never give up on us, okay, or turn his back on us. We can trust him. And he says in Romans that there's nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ. So I want you to remember that. When you see a picture of a church as you get older, think of the things you learned and the good times that you had and how much God loves you.